the final words of someone's life, especially when they're meaningful words and, and filled with faith and coming from someone maybe that you knew and loved and respected, they're really powerful, aren't they? I mean, they, they just carry weight. And, and, and I know that these words from Paul aren't necessarily his dying words, but I always associate these with the end of his life. He wrote these to Timothy when he was, uh, you know, near the end of his journey when he said, Timothy, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Don't those words inspire all of us? You know, we want to be there. We want to do that. We want to, we want to emulate that in our lives. Paul just spurs us on with those words. I think about the last words that I heard my father share with me. My dad went to be with Jesus in 2007. He, uh, he, he passed from, from basically complications from Alzheimer's. His mind just went away. Um, Nancy Reagan described that as the long, slow goodbye, and it really kind of is. Um, my dad was in Sarasota, Florida when he passed, and, and uh, we weren't sure when he was going to to go, but uh, I remember I called him on the phone. I think it was the day before he died. And um, if you've ever been around someone in that situation, it's difficult. It's very difficult because their memory, their recall is just gone at that point. But God, God gave him a moment. God gave me a moment, an incredible blessing. I called him just the day before he, he passed, and, and uh, they put the phone to his ear, and I, I, I had a very short conversation with my dad. It went like this Dad, I'm praying for you. And he said, to my amazement, because he had clarity for this moment, he said, thank you, son. And I said, Dad, I love you. And he said, I love you too, son. And then he hung up. That's a pretty awesome final conversation. You know? I'll never forget that. What a blessing to have that moment. I think about my grandma's passing words. My grandma that I always quote she had had a heart attack. She had a heart attack at 85, and the doctors told us that uh, she had had enough damage to her heart. She was not going to go home. She was only, you know, she was just hanging on for basically a few more hours, and they were just making her comfortable in her room. And all of the, all of my cousins, we all drove in to be around her bedside. And the night before she passed, she said what she had said to us a bazillion times: "Children." And when we hear Grandma say "children," that means gather around because Grandma's got something to say, right? So we gathered around her bed, and she just launched into one of Grandma's statements about just loving the Lord and living for Him and spurring us on and challenging us. And I'll never forget, she said, I've got to get uh, to studying Romans chapter 12 for my Bible study this week. So Grandma taught two or three Bible studies a week the whole time I ever knew her, citywide study. She was just always in the Word, always preparing. And uh, you know what? I want that to be something that I say at the end of my life. I want to be preparing. I want to be in God's Word preparing that next lesson. You know, when I go. I'm thankful for final words that have been spoken into my life that just inspire me. 